Welcome back to News 360. Let's now get into our mission segment this evening. It's brought to you by Star Ghana with support from UK Aid, Danida and the European Union. We start off with stories in health as expectant mothers at Latinkba and Kadeni in the East Gonja municipality do not attend antenatal clinic. Stanley Niblo reports a chips compound to serve the primary needs of the people is now a shelter for goats three years after completion. <laughs> Latinkpa and Kedeni are two rural communities located 18 kilometers from Salga, the East Gonja municipal capital. The ancient communities are not developed and poverty is high. Both communities have had their population reduced over the years due to intense hardship there. Health care, for instance, is not easily accessed because a chips compound to solve the basic health needs of the people has been abandoned after completion four years ago. The building, which is developing serious defects, also serves as shelter for goats. The East Gonja Municipal Assembly has failed to put the structure to use. Uh, I followed to the assembly as the assemblyman to uh, inquire why the facility is still like that and I've not had any reason for that. So uh, it's affecting us actually. The assemblyman narrates the ordeal residents go through when they fall sick. We have about five communities and uh, amongst these communities, when someone is sick, uh, transporting the person to Salaga or Bunjai, it's, it's usually a, a difficult um, issue. So um, we don't know when this facility will be put to use. So the mission team decided to ascertain the truth of the claims by the assemblyman. So he accompanied the team to the Latimpa community. The team chanced upon one pregnant woman in labor. <coughs> During labor, traditional birth attendants play a key role in the delivery process. In the case of Latimpa and Kedeni, there is only one TBA serving both communities, so her service was sought for. <coughs> In this part of the country, traditional birth attendants are highly respected because of their role in the community. After thorough examination, the traditional birth attendant recommends the expectant mother should be sent to the Salaga government hospital. A means of transport, the labor case became a problem. Later, some neighbors intervened. <laughs> All is set for the pregnant woman to go for safe delivery at a better facility. As usual, traditional birth attendant accompanies the woman on the motorbike. This has been the practice for years. As a traditional birth attendant, I can't travel anywhere because I am the only one in this community. When they inform me that this woman is pregnant, I have to always visit the woman to check on her and know how she's doing. If the woman is due and they come to call me, I have to go and check. When I check and the woman, will, I cannot take the child, I will have to arrange so that we go to the hospital. There are certain times that we face a lot of difficulty. We 
with regards to these women because it may be midnight and moving is always difficult. Some mothers also shared their ordeal in labor with the mission team. When I was pregnant, my legs got swollen and I had to be transported to Salaga Hospital for uh, delivery. Some of us don't have motorbikes, we'll have to go and beg and sometimes you even beg, you don't get. So it's a worry to us. What we are pleading for is for them to come and uh, complete our clinic. When that is done, uh, it will lessen our burden. Health workers from Bunjai come to Lantungpa to weigh our children. Uh, anytime they come, they make sure that they cover the entire community and other surrounding communities. However, if they don't come, that is where the challenge is. For the past three days, uh, my child has been convulsing and uh, had it not been for a motor care rider who came to buy cow to Bunjai, who helped me pick the child to Bunjai uh, Health Center, I don't know what would have happened to her. Kedeni is cut off from Latimpa and so residents cannot regularly access health care. Roads linking the two communities have been badly eroded by flood. In fact, no vehicle can access the community. It's a Herculean task for residents as farm produce cannot be carted to market centers. Because of the nature of the road, I am carrying my corn and cassava to Lantungpa to go and grind. Previously, we used to go with the Moto King to go and grind and back, but since the place got cut away from a uh, Lantunga community last year. Uh, we have been carrying it on our head to go and grind. So we are appealing to government to come and put the bridges in good shape so that it will lessen our burden. Opinion leaders at Lantunga confirm that district authorities have come to ascertain the level of destruction, but no measures have been taken. I'm so under what comes and you DC. Last year, when it rained heavily around this area, the whole place was covered with water. So the next community uh, from here is Kidengi. Kidengi is a business center uh, where people go there to buy kettle. And now that the place has been cut away from uh, Lantungpa and Bunjai, people cannot cross and go. So it is affecting them. I've reported the issue to the DC. He came here himself to take pictures of the place. Uh, the MP also came. He took pictures of the place. Place, but still, uh, we are not seeing anything. The only thing they told me is that they are going to inform World Bank and government to come and support us. Since then, the situation has remained the same. The municipal chief executive was not at post when the mission team visited his office. Residents want the chief's compound be put to use to minimize the difficulties inhabitants go through to access health care. Very, very worrying situation there, which can no longer be overlooked, requiring urgent action by duty bearers. But let's stay on health, as workers at Bankumba in the Pandai district of the northern region are giving off their best to save lives in the midst of inadequate resources. But outreach programs are not regular. Bankumba has seven other general communities inhabited by about 2,000 people. The community is underdeveloped, although it has electricity, one of the basic social amenities. Access to health care is not a major problem because the community has a chips compound. The provision of health care may not be of quality because the center is understaffed and resourced, but health personnel are doing their best in the midst of scarce resources. Surely, the facility has helped a lot. This facility was commissioned in 2014. And looking at the number of people who are patronizing this facility is so great as compared to when the facility was not there. And most of them even testified to us that if this facility was not at this hour, most of them wouldn't have even been alive by now. Spectan mothers who come for antenatal care go through a lot. Serious cases are referred to the Pandai Hospital some 18 kilometers. In some instances, poverty impedes the referral of most patients to Pandai for further care. 
Some communities are not served at all by health outreach programs, especially during the rainy season. The labor ward, for instance, also serves palpation and antenatal needs, while the dispensary unit also serves as consulting rooms. Detention and monitoring of patients also come with challenges. Yeah, Patrons recount like how beneficial the CHIPS compound has been to them in spite of the overwhelming challenges. We find it difficult to access health care whenever we are sick because we have to cover long distance. But the CHIPS compound has come to solve our problems. They are grateful to government for the provision of the facility, but wants an improvement in services rendered. For staff here, achieving United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 3 is their priority, but more will be required in this regard. More CHIPS facilities will be required in other hinterland communities to save lives. We'll be following up on these developments and bringing you some more on it here in our mission segment. That's how we round up mission this evening. It's brought to you by Star Ghana with support from UK Aid, Danida and the European Union.